Everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to be playing another game of Total War Warhammer. I'm the Strategy Professor. It's going to be a multiplayer match. We're going to be playing Empire. Um, this is the num the tenth match, I believe, in the Empire campaign. So I have been starting the match right when we get into the selection process, but it really doesn't. It's like an extra five seconds right now. There's matches going off left and right. I've actually played against this guy before. I'm pretty sure Turin, or else I've seen his name before. I think this is a rematch, right? He's the uh, the Vampire Counts guy. Well, I won't spoil it, but I have played against him, and he was Vampire last time I played against him, so we'll put it that way. So do check it out. I do have a different build against him this time, though. I have a pre-made build now that I adjust pretty regularly, um, just to try out different things. So now my thing is I'm going to try out some Outriders. So I think these are very good against Undead. Last time he didn't bring any... Um, he didn't bring any hounds with him, and the hounds are really one of the only ways that the Vampire Counts have to deal with this. Now, I don't have the net this time. I'm going to try out the Bright Wizard as well, and the reason is I want to use this spell right here, Flaming Sword of Rayoon or whatever. 22% uh, weapon damage is not really that impressive, but what is impressive is that it's fire damage and magical damage. So that means that we are going to absolutely melt through any Banshees that they have, any ethereal units that they might have. It also helps us work our way through Blood Knights because it makes all of their armor obsolete um, because you're doing pure magic damage now. So you're basically just doing pure damage when it's on there. You still have a little bit of um, hero sniping that's capable with Fireball. And I think you, just, you have to have something like that this day and age. You have to have something you can fire at them and you have to be able to juke their Fireballs. And, or their whatever, the Gaze of Nagash that they cast. So, in the spirit of that, I have Foe Seeker. And what I'm going to try to do, and it's going to be micro-intensive, we'll see. If they target one of my guys, I really need to watch out for that Gaze of Nagash. And if they target him, I need to strafe to the side and immediately pop Foe Seeker so that I can dodge it. And then I need to retaliate with uh, Fireballs. Now, <clears throat> so I'm going to wait on him to cast his first so that I know he's not going to cast his on my Bright Wizard at the same time I'm casting mine on his uh, Manfred, because the Bright Wizard doesn't have potions so and Manfred does. Um, so I don't have the net, as I said, so my Outriders might be a little vulnerable if he charges in with Manfred, but we can get Manfred with all of our Lords if we want to, because he's not going to have any other anti-air probably. So we can just go over there and mob him if we want to. We'll see. And... Um, I mean, the net would be good with the Outriders. I just I just want a better answer to Ethereals, like I said. And so I think I'm going to just try this out. I think this could be a really a really good way to deal with Ethereals. Because that puts... Um, if you double tap it, it lasts for 34 seconds. And it puts it on everybody within 45 units range. So that's going to hit all of these great swords, And that should just let them mow them down. Uh, we also have the extra... Um, plus 12% weakness to fire, so that should help out with the fireball and our flaming attacks. Those flaming attacks also allow our units to do bonus damage against anything that regenerates. So we're going to be doing bonus damage against um, Crypt Horrors, bonus damage if he fields... Um, what else is that? Anything that regenerates is what I'm trying to say that takes bonus damage versus fire. It's also going to be that, so I'm hoping this will be a pretty sweet lineup. We'll see. It was a very good match last time. I think that was episode 7 or 8. I can't remember. But I have played against this guy before. Although I am running a different build right now, like I said. It's going to be my core infantry. I'm going to make these my... Sort of spear infantry. We've got the Air Force. Now I need to fan these guys out also. I just want to start these Outriders just right in his face. Let's get some free shots in. Put him in skirmish mode. So if he has Hounds, this could be dangerous. But we can out, we can run the Hounds at least back a little ways, I believe. We'll be able to get the Hounds back. Alright, so let's see. We want this guy here. Let's go over here. Ready for war. There's a chance that I just want to go ahead and just cast a fireball on him. Right off the bat. 
but we need to really watch what he's targeting and then immediately run to the right or to the left. It might almost be worth it to put my lords over here so that these trees can help block some of it. Okay, he does have bats. The so bats can tie these up, so I need to get these back. Like, now. Okay, pretty good build. Pretty good build. Let's go ahead and, uh... Ever cast a fireball on him? And he's trying to strafe. Let's see if he can dodge it. Oh, he managed to get around. Good job by him. Let's see if we can shoot at those. Watch out for him targeting things. Where are these? Skeleton warriors, okay. And he's gonna go for my guy, I think. Cast another one on him. And my guy's miscast twice, which is unfortunate. I want to make sure I have enough to overcast if I can. God, these guys are really just not hitting things. Ah, oh, God, of course he hits mine when I'm strafing. God bless. Okay, let's get in there. Now, he didn't bring any ethereal units. He does have his spears over here. Let's go ahead and just take the air force over here and deal with him. Both of them? Alright, let's get over here. Alright, we're gonna... Where's Foe Seeker? Foe Seeker, yeah, he's gonna run. Alright, let's get back in here, charge these things. Okay, so we're just gonna run back over here with our spears. And we should be able to get some good shots in here. And don't let him get into all of these. This is where I really wish I had the net. Does he have Foe Seeker back again? For real? Okay, whatever. We'll just... Cycle charges on him. Let's get over here. I just want to take out this line here. What's getting weakened? These are getting weakened. I just want to focus out the weak things here. Okay, my wizard is back. Let's fade out here. Go ahead and go for Foe Seeker. Foe Seeker and Foe Seeker. See if we can get on him. Get some hits in there. Yes, General. 
Slap these, collapse those. Okay, I did get a cast in there. Let's go ahead and just cast some on these guys. Alright, let's get back over here. Let's go ahead and get these Blood Knights in the back here. That's fine, whatever. Oh, right there, right there. Faux secret. Hmm. Yeah, that didn't work out so well. These things have been just like free firing into their backs, and they're just still not dead. I'll just see how many kills they have at the end. Yeah, so I really want the net here. I mean, the fire sounds good, but if I could just net his lord and kill him, I think that's much better. Right, let's get back over here. Now, we do have their knights dead. So there's a totally a possibility we could still win this. We just have to kite him. Now he's gonna try to go over here for these, so we need to get in here. Deal with him. Yeah, just kite him out. Need to hit the things that don't regenerate. these things are coming back in here. So I seem to have one thing charging them. Actually, let's go ahead and deal with these. Yeah, just hold them here and just keep shooting them. Light them up. about to wipe all that stuff out. Who is this? Oh, the Lord. Dang it, I popped it on the wrong person. Crap. That was really bad. I thought that he was aiming for the other person. We need to get over here and support him. Actually, forget him. Just kill these things. That's fine. These things should be wiped out over here. Get out of there. Yeah, they're all fading pretty quickly. Now, if he ever gets off my ward... Okay, good. So I do have a health pot left. Take him in the air. Let's go ahead and get the entire Air Force over here. Oh, he realizes he's going to lose that. Get down here and just pick this stuff. What? Why did he run? He better rally back. He's got half his health. Do I have any ammo left? I guess not. Yeah, get in here. Okay, yeah, he rallied back. Is that a regeneration? I hope not. That's going to be brutal. Let's get 
that gun here. I just want to charge everything. That um, if he just wants to run away like that, I just want to kill all of his um, all of his flashing units. Just get him to run, and then we'll take we'll figure out this stuff later. These white kings, we can run them down later. I just want everything to have terrible morale. So he's running away. Get down here, kill these. Let's go ahead and just get these out of here. Just get them out of there. I don't want them to die. This is just going to have to be a... Um... Let's get rid of all of his little units. Yeah, let's actually... Let's just go run him down. We can just run him off to the edge of the map and just kill him. Guys, get out. Yeah, we're just gonna go run him down. Do I seem to cycle foe seekers, I think? So I should be able to eventually run him down. We should just be able to run him down to the very end of the map. Why are these things? Because they're near stronger enemies, is that it? So you can just run over here. Guys, get over here, run, run. Let's run over here. Let's see if we can pin him in. Are you kidding me? Is he regenerating or is that his first secret? Alright, let's run this path. Look the goofiest fight. Get over here. So goofy. Okay, so it's just them left, I guess. Run over here. I mean, he's kiting me with his lord. Like, I should be able to win this. So let's just keep running to the side of him here. <laughs> well, I guess it's probably going to be a draw match because I just can't run him down, even though I have three people with Foe Seeker. If I just had more ammo on those Outriders, he just spent the whole match like just basically running with Manfred, or whoever this is, a normal Vampire Lord. I'm not going down to attack anybody else. Because I, I should win the air game. So I guess this is probably going to be a draw. Yeah, 
You actually gonna come at me, big dog? Come on. We are Sigma's heirs. Please. Just go for a fight, man. I'm down to fight. I wish I still had, I don't have ammo with him left, do I? No, no ammo. He's probably just gonna heal up if I just had my magic user left. Goofiest game. Yes, I could keep one running after him and send the other two after the White Kings, but I don't know how much regeneration they have, and I feel like they are going to. Um... There's no way that guy runs down Outriders, right? Oh, he has Foe Seeker as well, huh? Well, maybe he can. going on him? I don't know what the heal is. No, 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 no. What the heck? Oh, there we go. Come on. This is where I really need the net. I try to stop this. I mean, this is so, this is so ridiculous. No, no, no. Get. Not just. Don't let him pick that off. Get over there. back over here and deal with this because this lord decided not to do what the other lords were doing. Can I actually run him down? I've almost got Foe Seeker. No, I don't. He has Foe Seeker. Alright, let's go over here again. God, this is probably the silliest game I've ever seen. It's pretty close. Do I have double foe seeker? Almost. Of the Empire. 
Okay, we've almost got Foe Seeker here. Come on, land. Go for it. He's just gonna run. Well, this is... So this experiment was failed. <laughs> I need... You have to have Net of Amentok. You have to have Net of Amentok. So the other thing is cute, but he didn't run any Ethereals, and that's why this happened. If I had Net, I would have been able to kill him years ago. But yeah, I mean, that was a close fight. I should have won it, tactically. I should have won it. I had three flyers, three lords at the end. He had two lords on the ground. But I just couldn't run him down. And the, a huge reason of that was this bright wizard. I mean, yes, I did... Um, I did get sniped by him. I did get hit. But if when he was going in for the kill on the bright wizard, I could have easily netted him and then just gone up with my other three lords and killed him. So, yeah, you absolutely light wizard every time. Net of Amentok, you have to have it to stop them from kiting you like that. So, I mean, that's just, like, my favorite spell in the game. It's one of the only things that's a spell that's a hard CC. In fact, I think it might be the only one that's a hard CC. So, absolutely necessary. Because if I'm able to net that guy for, you know, however long, if I double tap it, it's like 40 seconds and he has to sit there and fight me for 40 seconds, he's going to die. I mean, if I really wanted to go for it, I could just run straight at him with my stuff, net him, and then just attack him with all my lords. Like, just get a snipe shot on him, and then just run straight over there, because he doesn't have any... I mean, he had some bats. If I really, really wanted to do that. I, I try not to do those kind of tactics, but, you know, this kind of game makes me think, like, I should, because he's doing tactics like that. He's sniping me. Um... But, anyways, I, okay, so we know the Grave Guard are good. These were okay. They didn't perform that well. Um, these Outriders outperformed, though. They were very, very good, as you could tell. They were sitting there. They got to use all of their ammo. Um, they were quite nice. So, it was a pretty good fight. It was a pretty good fight. I mean, the last five minutes were just straight goofiness because I couldn't catch him. He couldn't catch me. I probably couldn't win a fight with him on the ground, and he couldn't win a fight versus me in the air, so... As you know, I paid for those mounts. I had to pay a thousand gold for those. And he's on the ground with the White King, so... You know, I paid a premium for that flying. We both had units on the ground. He could have fought me in the air, I could have fought him on the ground, but we both chose not to because we knew the other person would win that fight. So it's just kind of a stalemate of different strategies. But the big takeaway here is you always have to have the Light Wizard. Forget the Bright Wizard, forget everything else. You have to have that Net of Amatok. It's so good... It would have, you know, the game would have ended 10 minutes ago if <clears throat> if I had that net. So, always running the Light Wizard now. Um, okay, so that's going to be it. Hopefully you enjoyed this. It was, I think it was a really solid game until the last five minutes, and then it got really silly, like I said. I mean, I guess it might be dramatic to maybe watch it. Because, there. I mean, if he would have committed a little bit more with his horse his horse guys to running down my um, outriders. He I think he could have done it. Like there's a way that he could have run them down. If he just was like able to circle um, the area with the outriders. Well, here's the thing. If he engages on those outriders with his flying lord, then um, I have to fight him on the ground with these three. But he was just afraid I was going to snipe out his lord, but why not? Like so he could have done that. I mean, he was really in control of this. He could have forced the action with the Outriders, because if those Outriders die, I have to land. And so he could have forced the action by just attacking the Outriders with his Flying Lord and keeping the White Kings close to him, keeping them all close together. And I think he could have won that. It would have been a three-on-three. -three. I assume he probably had some kind of regeneration magic that was possible at some point. But even if it wasn't, like, you have to think, can I beat these, this guy with a 3v3? So those Outriders aren't going to do anything. As soon as you catch them, as soon as you engage on them, they're going to run immediately because they're so scared. 
I mean, they were almost about to run when they just got into range because of the fear. So he could have, that's how he could have won the fight, was if he just kept his lord next to these two white kings and just went all in on the outriders. Because who cares if they even lose the lord if they get those outriders? Because if they get the outriders, then I'm going to have to land, and these two things can beat up my lords at that point. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. Maybe he didn't know how many pots I had left or something. I don't know. But the ball was in his court. He could have done it a lot earlier, but he chose to run away with his lord and try to chase me with this. And we were able to get the draw out of it. If he would have fought me... Like I said, till the very end with the Flying Lords, then it would have been a different story. But anyways, thank you very much for watching. This was definitely a very interesting game. Uh, if you enjoyed this, most of my games are a bit more conclusive than that. Uh, watch the rest of them. We have uh, a lot of Empire uh, multiplayer battles. We have a lot of Greenskin multiplayer battles. And we have a little bit of the other stuff. If you want to see me play a particular faction, uh, just let me know. And I'm more than happy to oblige. We also have legendary campaigns for everything except for uh, Chaos. We will get Chaos soon. Um, but we just can't manage five uh, legendary campaigns, especially with the in-depth analysis that I give for each one, alongside you know multiplayer battles and League of Legends and all of that stuff. So we will get to chaos eventually, but not not right now. So thank you very much. It's always a pleasure broadcasting for you. I hope you enjoyed this, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Have a wonderful evening.